The secret tool to creating highly interactive and engaging self-paced and live classes that can impact thousands of students around the world are not tools used by a lot of online teachers or used to its full capacity. And these top two tools are Nearpod and Google Slides. These tools are fantastic for bringing in those five-star reviews for retaining your students so they're coming back excited to come back week after week for six plus months tutoring students for a year. And today I'm going to show you the best features of both of these platforms to create our engaging and interactive classes. Let's start off with Google Slides. So one thing I love to do with Google Slides is to play a game. And games work well in both live and self-paced classes. So let's take a board game, for example, and see how it can be used in both settings, live and self-paced classes. So here's our board, and I'm able to, in a live class, switch to slides that have questions. And here we are practicing anything that I have taught. So I've taught a strategy for solving multiplication fact seven. And then we can play this game as we practice. So not even review. I am not saving this game to the end of my lesson. It is going to be the majority of my lesson. So we're going to click to a slide that has our our fact question on it. We're working through the problem together. And then we'll go back to the board game and I am moving the characters for the students. Students have a blast because the whole lesson, the majority of your lesson, which is the we do part, we're playing a game and it makes learning so much fun. Board games, so versatile. You can use them for any subject, reading, sight words, comprehension questions. Okay, let's take that same game board. How can I use that in a self-paced class where I'm not there live teaching my students? How can we still incorporate this game? What I would do is record myself sharing my screen and playing the game with my student as if I were in a live class. I would be rolling the dice. We would be solving the problem together. And then, so as a student watching that recording, it really feels like I'm there playing this game with them and they are watching the characters move along the board. What would make this a little different, a little extra, so I can see, so I can hold students accountable for actually answering the questions and not just zooming on by, is to put it into Nearpod. So take that video recording of me playing the game. I'm going to stick that into Nearpod. And then I can pause the Nearpod video and actually give students a, a chance to answer the question. And then once they've answered the question and they've selected a multiple choice or typed in an answer on Nearpod, then the recording keeps playing. So I'm rolling my dice. We've answered this question. Pause. Let students answer it. Now I'm rolling my dice to see how or who gets to move on the board. Okay, super, super fun. You can also share that same board inside your classroom and have them play the game with a parent as well. Instead of just by themselves, they can play it with a parent. Another fun example is a choice board. So giving students the choice on where they take their learning. So here we have a board and we have a our squares around the board with different options for them to pick from. So on my choice board, I, maybe we're, we want to dive more into the vocab words of math or reading or a book. And I have an activity there where they are maybe able to type out something we use the words in a sentence and they can type it right there on the page or they can find a piece of paper, write down the, the vocab words or the sight words. Maybe it's for younger students where they're not ready to type yet. Find a piece of paper, write our sight words uh, with a rainbow, with crayons. Every single letter is a different word. And then take a picture and show me in the classroom. So 
Choice boards are really fun, giving students that choice of what to accomplish. And in a live class, I would not have so many options, maybe three options, and we're able to complete two in class. That way I can have students vote and we'll do the top two that got the most votes together as a class. Google Slides, I absolutely love using Google Slides and love helping teachers use Google Slides. And if you're ready to create interactive Google Slides for live or self-paced classes, I am hosting a 90-minute workshop at the end of this month, end of September, where I'm going to walk you through exactly step-by-step how to create your own drag-and-drop activities. So your board game type activity, but could be sight words you're dragging and dropping, vocab words, definitions. We could drag and drop anything. I'll show you how to create those kinds of activities as well as clickable activities. Like in our choice board, we're able to click links within our slides to take us to another activity, or we can create games like this hide and seek game right within side Google Slides. I'm going to show you how to create all of this as well as templates for all of these projects you're creating. So you don't have to start from a blank slide every single time you want to add in an interactive activity. We want to be able to do the work once and then save a template. That way we're already that many steps ahead and we can just edit and add in our own questions and teaching content and it's ready to go. We're going to save hours of time. So I can't wait to see you there if you're ready to level up your Google slide game. The link's down below if you're ready and if you've missed that live date, don't worry. Catch the replay. You don't want to miss this. Okay, our second tool, Nearpod. Nearpod is fantastic and highly underestimated, not a lot of teachers use Nearpod. So if you're really looking for a way to stand out, Nearpod's the way to go. It's a lot of interactive and engaging features built right into Nearpod. Plus, Nearpod is free. So all of these activities that I'm going to show you today, you will be able to do as well. Okay, for Nearpod, video makes our self-paced classes super fun and engaging. I kind of talked about this with our board game example, but this video can also be your lesson. You are presenting the lesson to your student. We're going to upload that video into Nearpod and add in questions. So you can keep your student's attention while you're teaching and that way it will pause the video and let them answer a question about something you just taught. And so it keeps up their, their their focus in your lesson. I love matching. It's such a simple game and a lot of different ways to use it. So if you can match it, put it in this game. So things you can match are vocab, term definition. You can do a Spanish word or your target language word to the translation word or a picture of what that word represents. You can match dates to an event that happened in that date, math equations. And for our younger learners, you can match sight words. So the exact same sight word, things that are the same colors, you can put those into our matching game. And our last one in Nearpod is time to climb. This one makes our quizzes super fun and interactive. One of students' favorite, favorite activities in Nearpod. So time to climb, it is a a quiz that's gamified. So as students are answering multiple choice quiz that you created in a live class, they will be racing up a mountain against all of their classmates. So they'll answer the question and then they can see who's winning up the mountain, who's climbing faster. In a self-paced class, it still works, but they will just be racing against themselves. So they can see their little character that they get to pick from race up that mountain. Both Google Slides and Nearpod are fantastic tools to give you everything you need to easily create interactive and engaging lessons that will have your students giving your lessons a thousand thumbs up. I had a student this last week 
where we played a simple hide and seek game. And after the game, I always like to ask for feedback from my students because our lessons are for them. And this student literally said it was a thousand thumbs up. And I've had students take the time to post a message in the classroom. And she said, if this class lasted for eight hours, I would be there and not bored at all. So I, that's my goal with all of my lessons is to make them interactive and engaging and make learning fun. And it's simple when we use Google Slides and Nearpod to create those interactive features for our students and they will love coming to our classes. In this video series, so far we have gone from creating engaging and lesson plans, starting from the lesson plan, all the way to now we're creating our actual lessons our students will see. So watch this next video on my screen if you are ready to put our self-paced class into OutSchool the correct way and fill out that listing. I'll see you in that video.